Now at 5.30, fire underground. Another series of manhole fires breaks out in Brockton overnight. This is an issue that we've been watching there for months. And there's a promise to get these fires under control. WBZ Cheryl Fiendaka is here with more on that. Cheryl? Well, Liam and Paula Brockton's mayor is vowing to stay on top of this and says work is underway to repair the problems with the manhole system. He claims despite what happened during the night, the problem is getting better. It's an emergency Brockton firefighters are all too familiar with. Explosions and fires in manholes. Last night, it was one explosion, three fires on Montello and Court Streets. Much of the city lost power. I want to apologize to the people of Brockton who uh, felt either an inconvenience and or a sense of uh, lack of safety. Today, the president of National Grid and the mayor vowed to correct the situation. This is uh, an ongoing project that is actually very close to completion. The mayor says the city and National Grid began working on the problem after this incident last summer. It was about four or five of them when one car was blowing up, then another car blew up. In July, 15 underground explosions set off manhole fires, burning a car and forcing the shutdown of downtown Brockton. And it happened again in January. Three separate incidents caused by the same thing. Brockton is no different than any one of the other older Massachusetts cities. We have old infrastructure. Since last summer, National Grid has been looking at every manhole in Brockton and repairing what needs to be fixed. The city has 140 manholes. National Grid has already looked at 110. There is no threat to public safety. Uh, if you'd like me to go stand on one of those manhole covers for you afterwards, I'll be happy to. And this isn't only a problem for Brockton. Lynn and Worcester have the same infrastructure. The head of National Grid says the utility is reviewing those systems, too. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.